Night Orphan here. Welcome back to Splatoon. Last time, we... That uh, falling for a long way. Last time, we started the final area and got near the end. And right now, we're at the final boss. Let's finish this. Enter the Octobot King. Let's get going. Here we go. I'm doing, in my opinion, one of the best final bosses in Nintendo has ever made. Guess I probably should have showed you my gear. Uh, this hero shot's still not upgraded. Stay back, Agent 3! It's a trap! Figures. We don't have a choice. Oh, glasses! Glasses not need to not be like that. <laughs> I'ma remix your face. DJ Octavio with his Octo thing. It's gonna shoot missiles at us. And then he's also shooting this fist, which we shoot back at him, which is easier to do if your hero shot's upgraded. Mine is not, which is gonna make this definitely harder than it normally could be. Uh, I definitely do consider this to be quite a difficult final boss, especially for, this, for your first time, and especially when your stuff isn't upgraded like me. See, I'm just barely getting it. I'm just barely getting it. My god. Hi, hi, hi. Come on. There we go. Alright, come on. Yeah. Y'all ready for this? Yeah, you do it. Yeah, now he's gonna hit it back with a punch, and he's playing volleyball just like Ganon and Zelda. Also, his song is pretty bumping. I, I like his song. Slimy little hipster. After him! A bump bump. Bump bump bump. Watch out, Ingrid's back in the mean laser. Now we're in the phase two, which means that not only did he shoot in a laser, but his song has actually changed a little bit too. You can hear it! Oh, barely got that. Like that. Armor. I could use it. Oh, that's the killer whale! Yeah, his, uh, his laser is something known as the killer whale. That's something that's a special you can use in multiplayer. Pretty strong, well, special too. Oh, who's- okay. Here's a sunken scroll, pretty in a big obvious spot, but I actually think I might have missed it during my first playthrough of this game, funnily enough, because of how chaotic this is. Whoa. Hi! Ah. Mm. I saw that, I saw that I was on the move! Hi, hi, hi. Paint you with my Nickelodeon colors! My orange Nickelodeon colors! Keep this! I have volleyball time. Work it. There we go. I'm gonna punch it again. I need to watch out because killer will! If you can't out, you can't out my spicy wasabi deets. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's on! Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, that's something up his sleeve, Agent 3. Yep, I believe his song changed again because we're in phase 3! Ow. Ah, now he's throwing those things at us with summon enemies! Super great to deal with when they're throwing bombs and stuff at me as well. Oh, Just constant annoyingness. Damn it. 
Ah! This is going crazy and chaotic. Nope, shoot that. I didn't want him to get that off. Thanks, Super. Grab it. Uh, I might want to use that. Frick. Come on, back up. Stop. Gun. Come on. Come here. Just do your stuff at me. Do that. Boom. Hey, okay, give me more armor. I made it. You about to get masked up? Uh, he's throwing more of those things. Fucking killer whale! Come on. Barely got that. My god. Do you even know who you're messing with? Bum, 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 bum. Like DJ Octo. He's not a very serious villain, but he's very fun. Last those Octo burritos, oh boy. Oh, jeez, I didn't see that coming. Sucks when there's something in my eye, clearly. But I need to deal I need to deal with whatever's in my eye. Yeah, yeah I oh well, you have to deal with stuff that's in my eye. Alright. I got it. Now yeah, move. Oh shoot that damn octopedas. Uh That's gonna give me any another Inkazooka! This has infinite rain, so I'm using it! That's some big rain, so I'm gonna frickin' use it! And give me another. Ah, oh, jeez. As you can see, you can't get too close to him because he has a shield. So that's as close as we're getting. I didn't blow them up. Uh, get further away from me, please. I need more room to work with. I, I, ah! It sucks that there's so very little room to work with now. Ah! Uh, yeah. Okay, moving on. It's time to drop the sea baits. Or the sea bass, sea baits, whatever. I understand the pun. Oh, jeez! Can you just celebrate me? I had a little celebration of me getting it and failing to knock a damn Frickin' volleyball thing back, God. Come on! Oh my God! That hit me! God damn it! Come on! Ay, ay, ay. How dare you! Alright, best song of game time! This where my beats! Agent 3, can you hear our song? Are you override activated? Huh? That heavenly melody is the one and only fits that there's! Don't you ever worry, don't you ever worry your granddaughters like that again. Agent 3, take care of Gramps, Rutz, okay? Final plus charge! Final phase with Kelly Mar and Temptation playing in the background, baby. Oh, so, uh, hey, sometimes if that's authentic, it's running for your life! 
I'm gonna be quiet and let you listen to this song, Herbert, while I focus. when he shoots the damn killer whale. Oh, that's frustrating. My god! Ah! Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Ah! Come on. And Captain Cuttlefish is right over there. Hi! Oh, that just went through the... I'm gonna dump stomp you into oblivion! Oh, really? Oh my god, such on this tiny little platform. Hot oh, damn it, there goes one of my armor. So close. Come on. Come on. There it is. Don't shoot at me, dick. Oh, great. Am I going to have to use that bubbler? Now, finish him! <sighs> oh no, so sad. Crossfade to black. And there's a great sapfish on the tower again. It's late, but we got a midnight newsflash. Wait, what's going on? What time is it? The great Zapfish is back on Engopolis Tower! Whoa, serious? That's a shocker. Where was it anyway? I guess we'll never know. Well, hey, at least it's back now. Yeah, let's rock! At this hour? Yeah, why not? And that is Splatoon! And here you can paint the uh, credits. Some people did not realize you could paint the credits and throw burst bombs at them as well. So you can. Hello, Squeegee. Stop covering up the credits. Also, this song is called, I think, Maritime. Oh, God. Maritime Melody or something? I'll put the name of it on screen. It's a great credit song. I love it so much. God, it's so good. Now, are we done? No. There's some stuff I want to do before we end this part. This is the final part of the series. But there's some stuff I want to do before we end this part, but yeah. God. And then, oh, okay. Shoot balloons, which don't give me eggs. I would actually like some eggs. But thanks, anyways. God, it's such a good song. My overall thoughts on the game since we're, this is gonna be like the really the only time I'm gonna be able to do this because the stuff we're gonna do is gonna do some other stuff. Splatoon is a, was a great game. I say was because uh, even though I'm pretty sure those servers are still active right now, I know I don't think too many people play Splatoon 1 right now. They're either at Splatoon 2 or 3. But its story mode is still fun and great. Although Splatoon 2 
is an improvement in practically every way, except for maybe the final boss. I think I might prefer the final boss Splatoon 1 more than Splatoon 2, but at the same time, I could see people liking either one more. I feel like that could come down to a preference thing. And of course, Splatoon 3, I have zero knowledge of. I have been somehow able to stay away from spoilers on that one. God, good songs. Also, hey, they're agents. Yay! Over there. It's such a fun. This was such a damn good game to come out, and it very much changed. I'd say multiplayer games. Like, uh, people were upset that I believe Doom came out without motion controls being an option. I think it was Doom. That's crazy because that's not a thing you initially think of. I think that uh, they actually put in a patch of Doom in order to add motion controls in. I'm pretty. I think I heard about this. I might not be under a sure. Also, here's Agent Three in both the boy and girl forms. It's crazy how much this changed. And now we have, and now we're finally getting copycats. Foam stars, although fairly, although foam stars might be a, a, unique enough. We'll see. Here's the replica acquire. Look, play like a hero online. Octo suit acquire. Dress like an octoling online. But as I said, we are not done. What are we going to do? Well, first of all, we see the great sapfish on top of the tower now. So that's there for if you complete story mode. And now that we complete story mode. one more amiibo challenge. Well, before we get to that one more amiibo challenge, I would like to talk about one more thing in Splatoon that is no longer available. This was called Splatfest. The whole, these were special events where the whole stage would be lit up with a concert with Callie and Marie, and you would choose sides, uh, and it would, it would be two teams, and you would choose sides in order to fight and see which one was better. You could still view what these looked like using the Callie and Marie Amiibo uh, on, on the Amiibo thing if you want to see what Inkopolis looked like, which I'll show on screen now. There were quite a bit of spot fest, and they were different from region to region. Very few were actually, surprisingly. Um, very few were actually separated, surprisingly. Uh, were, were the same, surprisingly. God, I can't fucking speak. I would actually like to go over every single Splatfest, show you who... These were also decided based on popularity and um, who won in... Um, <clears throat> it was decided based on popularity and who won uh, the most amount of battles, which uh, I'm going to be honest, a little bit of debate on whether there's a little bit of debate on how well it would work. <laughs> There it is. Setting this up so I can look at these all at the same time is going to be a little confusing for me. And why not, but still. A little bit weird on how they did it. It was never consistent with how people liked it. Even in Splatoon 2, people didn't know exactly like how it was. Eh, I hope Splatoon 3 fixed it, but I don't know. Anyways, we are going to go in order from when these started. So, Japan only slap fest on 6-13-2015 was versus rice versus bread. Um, so, it was on rice versus bread. So, do 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 do. Hold on for a second. I got freaking... Yeah. The... <clears throat> Winner was Rice with popularity of 58% and versus Bread with popularity of 42% and wins on Rice were 55% and Bread was 45%. Uh, personally, I prefer Rice over Bread. Then our Japan only Splatfest was on 7-3-2015, which was Red Fox versus Green Tanuki. Red Fox absolutely won the popularity poll on that one, and it, but it did lose the win. However, and wins are worth times too. However, because of the same popularity, Red Fox won. This is why people had problems with these. The next Splatfest was in North America and Europea, Europe and Oceania, but they were different Splatfests. Uh, the North America version got Cats vs. Dogs, with dogs being way more popular 
being way more popular than Caps. But Caps won the win, but they only won uh, at a 51% versus Dogs, which would have won at 49%. Then, in Europe and Oceania, we had... I should actually move some of these over here just to make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> we had Rock versus Pop, which Rock won 64% uh, popularity, 53% win. Yeah. <clears throat> the next flat fest was the was on 7/18/2015 and they were both different for North America and Europe and Oceania. With North America it was roller coasters and water slides with roller coasters winning at 40. Uh, roller coasters actually losing the popularity. Water slides won the popularity there. I can see why I like water slides a lot, but roller coasters won the win percentage. And so they won. It was a very close one. 152 versus 148. Europe and Oceania, we had eating and sleeping. Uh, with the most popular being eating, I agree, and the least popular being sleeping. 37% popularity with sleeping. Although sleeping did win the total win to 52%, still though, it wasn't enough to win. <coughs> the next... Splatfest was do, 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 in Japan only on 725 2015 and it was lemon tea versus milk tea. I have never had either of these teas so I can't tell you which one I prefer. <laughs> lemon tea one uh, versus milk tea. The next Splatfest, this is how I'm going to be doing it going over every single one. The next Splatfest was on the 8th month of the 8th day of 2015. It was different for America versus Europe. In America it was marshmallows versus hot dogs with marshmallows winning overall. I kind of, I'm kind of split on that one which I prefer. I think I prefer marshmallows a little bit more. So yeah. And in Europe it was North Pole versus South Pole. With South Pole surprisingly winning the popularity poll for some strange reason. Which is interesting. I would think North Pole would win, but okay. I guess I'd be on North Pole team. I don't really care, I guess. Okay. The next class has with Jim and only one Grasshopper versus Ant. With Grasshopper winning 61% and Ant and at 61% popularity and it won the ones that wins as well. Next Splatfest was in Europe and Oceania, singing versus da dancing. With dancing winning the popularity poll, however, singing won overall due to the wins. Next was a a uh, US, uh, North America one. With this, this is where I said that um, they do crossovers sometimes. Autobots versus Decepticons. I don't know shit about Transformers, so I'm just going to tell you that Decepticons won. <laughs> one, although Autobots won the popularity bowl. <sighs> the next Splatfest was a Japan only one, Bokeh versus Su Sukoomi. I don't know what either of these are, but Sukoomi won both the popularity and win percentage, so it won. The next one, God, this is a long one. I didn't realize they had this many Splatfests. My God was on 9-19-2015, both different for North America and Europe. North America, we had Arts for the Science. Arts won both the popularity and win percentage at both 51% versus Science, which had 49% on both. Very surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised I can that. Europe, we had Messy versus Tidy. Also, I kind of prefer... Oh, God, I think I prefer Art, but I do like Science a lot. That one's a very good one. Messi versus Tidy was over in Europe, with Messi winning both the popularity and win percentages. I can see why. I think I prefer Tidy. I think I'd be on. I would have chose that team, but yeah. The next flat fest was on 10 10 2015 for both Japan and North America. They were different though. The Japan one was Squid versus Octopi. Squid obviously won the popularity poll, although Octopi won the win percentage. I'm going to be honest, I don't know which one I would choose. <coughs> the next splat... Oh yes, they also ch changed the... I should mention this. They also changed the wins at times for 
uh, starting at the uh, earliest one, that the North Pole one. I think that was the early one. In the U.S. it was Cars vs. Planes. Uh, Cars actually lost the popularity poll, but it won the win percentage, so it won. It was close to uh, 252 versus 248. And in Europe, in Oceania, it was cats versus dogs, with cats winning overall, but dogs won the popularity poll. Then, the next Splatfest, they changed the wins to times six. Again, trying to make the popularity not count as much. With the next one being on Halloween for both Japan. And, uh, Halloween 2015, both Japan and US. Japan, it was love versus money. Um, Money won the popularity poll, but one love won the win percentage, so love won. And in uh, North America, it was Pirates vs. Ninjas, with Ninjas winning the popularity poll by a whopping 72%. But Pirates won the win percentages, but Pirates won overall. And then on two, uh, in... <laughs> Europe and Oceania, November 7, uh, 2015, it was Zombies vs. Ghosts. Uh, ghosts won popularity and win percentages. I prefer Ghost, to be frank with you. Then the next Splatfest was in November 21st, 2015, in Japan only, Mountain vs. Seafood. With Seafood winning popularity and uh, win. Uh, yeah, but still, it was surprisingly close. 358 through 342, I guess that was close ish. Um, the next one of fast, let's see, was on. Uh, in North America on 12 5 2015, Burgers vs. Pizza. Uh, Burgers won the win overall because it won the win percentage, but Pizza won the popularity. But Burgers still won. And then on December 12th, uh, 2015, in Europe and Oceania, we had Delicious or Disgusting, which was pro pineapple versus anti pineapple I see in the notes here. I'll have to double check this stuff, which is interesting. Uh, I'll have to double check this stuff. And it, the Disgusting won both popularity and win, surprisingly. Um, on, let's see. Do just double check this stuff on um, 12 on December 19, 2015. Naughty versus Nice in North America, with Naughty winning the win percentage, but Nice winning the popularity. A Naughty one overall. I don't know which one I would have chose there, to be frank with you. And in Japan on 12 26, 2015, it was Green Tanuki versus Red Fox. With uh, Red Fox absolutely winning the popularity poll, but Green Fox won the one win percentages. I pro I would have chosen Red Fox as well. Uh, then on January first, twenty sixteen, there were two different flat fests for Europe and North America. North America had Past versus Future, with Past winning the win percentages, but Future winning the uh, popularity poll in the past one overall. And in Europe, Europe and Oceania, it was fit versus rich. Fitness versus money would be interesting. With fit winning, uh, no, rich winning the popularity poll and fit winning the win, so we, uh, so fit won overall. Blech. I'm having a hard time speaking. <sighs> then. There was, uh, in Japan only, there was a Splatfest of January 23rd, 2016, Perfect Body versus Perfect Brain. Perfect Body winning the popular, the win percentage of Perfect Brain winning the popularity. Then we go to February of, yeah, so February 20th and February 19th. Japan and Europe both, and in US of 20, they all had similar Splatfest. Japan was Pokemon Red versus Pokemon Green in Europe, Oceania, and US with Pokemon Red versus Pokemon Blue, because obviously 
different versions and whatnot. In Japan, Pokemon Green one was pop with win percentages versus popularity. Pokemon Red absolutely stole the popularity. And in the US, Pokemon Red won the popularity, but Pokemon Blue won the win percentages. So it was much closer with popularity-wise. And in Europe and Oceania, uh, Pokemon Blue surprisingly won the popularity. Or no, it won the win percentages. Sorry, brain dying. The Pokemon Red won the popularity. Great. Now, they changed, starting in the next ones, they changed how stuff works by, uh, Splatfest by adding in Splatfest power. Uh, Splatfest power, oh god. Whew! Oh my god, there's a lot to talk about, about Splatfest, oh boy, because they would change this. Splatfest power in Splatoon 1. Uh, this, uh, oh god, how the love did this work again? Okay. The way that they were, after version 2.6.0, players are more likely to play with those at similar Splatfest power level. Top 100 players need to see the title of Splatfest Top 100. The, the, the higher team's average Splatfest power, the more Splatfest point they The way that they paired was really interesting with power levels and how... Uh, like, Chargers usually had high power levels versus, like, the high end. Don't fully understand that. We're getting into the final Splatfest of the game. On, uh, March 12th, 2016, in Japan, only Splatfest was Glow Out versus Focus on Healing. With Focus on Healing winning both popularity and win percentage, surprisingly. So, yeah, that's surprising. And in Europe and US, they both had different Splatfests on the same day. March 19, 2016. US, it was Snowman vs. Sandcastle. Sandcastle won the wins, but Snowman won the popularity. I would have chosen Sandcastle. And then Europe, it was Hoverboard vs. Jetpack. Hoverboard won both win percentages and. <laughs> and, uh. And popularity. God, I can't speak. My God. And yeah, I. But obviously, this was before people started actually trying to make hoverboards and they started to explode. So, I'm pretty sure this was before that that was the thing. <sighs> On 20. Oh God. February, March, April. April 23rd, 2016. We all had Flat Fest, but they were different. In Japan only Splatfest, it was Tuna Mayonnaise Oni Girl versus Red Salmon Oni Girl. Oni Girl, I do not know what I would have chosen. I have to just take a look at that. But Tuna Mayonnaise Oni Girl won. Uh, Red Salmon Oni Girl won the popularity. The next, uh, meanwhile, over in the US and Europe, we had SpongeBob vs. Patrick. Yes, a crossover with Nickelodeon. They were the same there, literally, with. Uh, Patrick winning the win percentage, Spongebob winning the popularity, I would have definitely gone to Spongebob there. Next was interesting, because they all had this next lab fest is the same for all places, however, they were differently worded. Japan and US it was called Fancy Party vs. Costume Party, and Europe and Oceania it was Black Tie Event vs. Fancy Dress Party. Very interesting changes. It was all the same splat fest, just different names. With Black Tie Event, I mean Fancy Party, whatever you call it, winning both popularity and, um, and uh, win, which is surprising that it won the popularity. I'm gonna be honest, Costume Party sounds a lot more fun, frankly. Next, in a Europe and Oceania Splatfest only on 6-11, there was Tour World, or World Tour for the Space Adventure, with World Tour winning both popularity and uh, win percentage, which yes, I would have chosen as well, because space is scary. Space is absolutely scary. Japan only on 6-19, there was a Splatfest, Mushroom Mountain versus Bamboo Shoot Village. Bamboo Shoot Village won. It won the... Popularity. Uh, the Mushroom Mountain won the winners. I think I probably shouldn't damage shoot those too. 
And the final and last Splatfest of the game was Callie vs. Marie on 7-22-2016. With... Surprisingly, I'm looking here, it said, I'm looking at all the stats and stuff, it says surprisingly that Marie surprisingly won the popularity poll, which I didn't expect, actually. And won the win percentage, I knew that, but I knew Marie won. I would have chosen Callie, I honestly prefer Callie over uh, the two, but still. Yeah, we, I'm a little surprised Marie won the popularity poll, but I understand. Anyways, now, I went over all the damn Splatfest. Which is what I wanted to do. I did want to go over all the Splatfest. That's what I wanted to do. Oh boy, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Oh god, in me. Uh, all right, and I'll see you back. And uh, back to current me, because it's supposed to be lovely. The final boss with the hero charger. I did the other challenges off screen, just in case. For this, forgetting this, we will get the hero. Ch Charger along with something else. This is why, which is one reason I'm doing this. So, this is gonna be quite difficult. Oh boy. Hey, Dark Tables, I was eating my. Oh yes, the final boss also has different dialogue as well as you will see. Hey, Dark Tables, I was eating my crabby cakes. Yeah, be squinting me. Gramps got captured again. That's convenient. Yeah, no snow globe can attain this DJ. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what that's about after this. <laughs> Oops. Now for ah! Oh my god, two sh two non charge stock. Oh my god. Ah, I need ink. Oh, I need my ink filled up. I'll swear in deep trouble. This is gonna be difficult. Oh my god! How did I miss? Oh my god, I cannot believe I missed! Come on. Oh, this is gonna be a really difficult fight with the charger. Hi, aye, aye. You all ready for this? I wish I could hold my charge in the ink for a second like it's Splatoon 2. Okay. First face down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A slimy little hipster. Oh boy. Gramps, are you sure you're not getting captured on purpose? <laughs> Sorry you have to rescue him again, Agent 3. Oh, jeez. Good. Get over. Give me armor. I'm gonna really need armor for this fight. Oh, uh, comes the second fist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me my extra eggs. Not that I'll really need it past this point. Go, 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 go. Okay. Ah, kill a real time. Jeez. At least I'm getting the hang of this. Okay. I'm deep this. Oh boy, here we go. Oh god, here we go. Come on. I'm stuck in the ink. Move! What do you mean that didn't it? Frickin' Oh thing block it. Thank God. 
That's the second phase down. You can't handle my spicy wasabi beeps. Didn't you say that last time? Like the only one who doesn't have new dialogue is. Damn, Gramps, I don't think I can make Squidness this year. Yeah, we're filling our holiday fetch on Squidness morning. Ah! Son of a gun! Ah, I missed. Oh, no, you don't. Damn it. Where is it? There we go. At least I got the idea now! I think Zuka Graffy, yeah, I'm probably gonna want that. Not for the range, but for better firing. Oh, for God's sakes. Die! Ah! I need that. No, you don't. Come on. Oh, you got your life. Armor. Oh god, you're about to get masked up. Yeah, you can't say anything different. Go. Jeez! Oh, no! Mm. Really got stuck on the little frickin'. Ah, refill, refill, refill. Come on. No, hit the damn th- uh. Uh. Come on. Oh my god. Come on! I am screwing- oh my god, I lost my armor! Are you kidding me right now? Don't you freaking dare! I don't care! Die! Get out of my way! Ah, oh, that was a waste of a special. I seriously missed. Come on. This is getting ridiculous at this point. No. Finally. Do you even know who you're messing with? Yeah, I know. And annoying god, I'll get through the frickin' head. God! Remember when we won that singing competition? Of course! That competition just started our careers! God! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Armor, thank you, I could use it. No. Refill the ink. <sighs> Give me the damn ink, Zuka. Ah! They freaking roll into me! Oh my god, I was busy dealing with the other guys. Not that I didn't know they were there, just uh. 
I thought they were stuck in my ink a little more, that's why I thought I had more time. This is about to suck! Good. Ah! The balloon actually got in my way! Frickin'. Ah. Come on, I missed that, really? Shit of a gun! Good. Good. Oh my god, move! Okay, volleyball time. It's time to drop the sea bass! That does suck! I can't believe I hit that. Woo! Got that! Oh my god. Okay. How am I going to some time? I'll turn into a radio edit! Even three come in, even three. Radio right after it. About time! Turn it up at the Squid Sisters! So embarrassing. Could you have to take away your crappy cake cramps? I think he's just lonely. We should probably give him a call soon. Mm. But Gramps doesn't have a phone. Why does send him telegraph? Son of a gun. Oh my god. Son of God! I'm waiting. Son of God! That somehow hit. Oh my God! I'm taking risk here. Oh, I missed that one. Good. Son of a gun. Can you stop that? My god. Fine, I just need to get into the ink rail. Give me the armor, I could use it. Bad. Good. Push forward, push forward. Gone. Give me more ink. Ah. Oh, my God. It's a bit farther, Agent Three. I'm a dub stop you put him. Oh, boy. Oh my god! Come on! Here he goes. Oh god, having to deal with enemies and... And that at the same time, annoying. Come on, come on. This is really hard with the dryer. My god. Oh god. Why did I stop that? Ah! I should have used the bubbler. Give 
me ama. Focus overtime there. Oh, ay yeah, yeah. ay. My god. Here we go. A hard part. I hit the bubble with a panic button because I got stuck in the damn ink. I'm trying to get out of the way of the killer whale! Oh my god! Oh my god, the game lagged for a bit. I did not like that. What? Oh my god, I died. I'm... Barely. Yeah. Alright, final phase. Again, here we go.
comes in so fast. On. I've almost got this, but god, I was so close. Hit it so fast at the end there. Good. And then I have to deal with the killer whale. Oh my god, that actually blocked my shot for a second. Got it! Finish him! Die! Oh my god. Not again, so sad. Cross fade to black. Oh my god. Bum <sighs> <laughs> Holy crap. Flippers Bar takes another weapon shot to get the hero replica. Not only did I get the hero replica and that minigame, I got this schoolgirl outfit from doing this, these amiibo challenges that I do off screen. Now, either right now or before the amiibo challenge, I will have done something in editing that I will be talking about. But now I'm going back to the Acto Valley. So I don't know when that part's going to be in. Back in Acto Valley. Hey, and three, I've been waiting for you. Thanks to you, pizza's returning in Goblis. I didn't want to me, you'll be thanking you for it. But that's the hero's way, the path we walk is a lonely one. Well, this guy hidden our DJ Octavio himself. I figured I'd let him rest here for a while, he's been through a lot. I'ma get you, Goblish! Isn't he cute? You know, Bucko, that gleam in your eyes is even stronger now. You have my eternal gratitude. Oi, what's this? Eh, it's probably nothing. That over there will let you view the credits again, if you want to. I'm battling online all lately? No. You're looking good these days, but I'm still the freshest around. I have to tell you about it up here, the greatest app is just finally safe. I'm your storm brewing. I can feel it in me cuddles. Hey there, buckle the kid and tail and turf wars. Yeah, okay. No. Your grandkiddos brought me lunch yesterday. They're the best. Take that off, and jerk. Oh, yeah, fiddlesticks, you woke me up. Man. I ever mentioned that Agents 102 are my grand squids? Hey, yep, okay, and he's starting to repeat. He's starting to repeat. He's starting to repeat. Hey, Dale, the best Valor and Coppola's ever seen with your bamboozler. I, he's starting to repeat. And there's Octavio, who's not, doesn't talk, but, and you can't paint his glow, but he does defend himself from it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to quickly check to see if the dialogue is different in the Amiibo version and uh, this for and the story mode of the final boss uh, after upgrading the hero shot. All right, yeah, the dialogue is the same. <laughs> I have to double check, but yes, dialogue is the same from Amiibo and that. Now, uh, main reason that I did that Amiibo stuff is because on here, in the second scrolls, you see that little thing in the bottom right corner? If we move that little drawing, well, if we move to the right. It turns. And Amiibo 1 should have the last one, but I didn't realize it wouldn't show up unless you did all the Amiibo challenges. Are you kidding me right now? Are you really, really kidding me right now? Pfft, that's got to, that sucks, man. Well, that is the end of Splatoon. This is definitely a very fun game to go back to and quite enjoyable. Next time, my next Let's Play will be a blind Let's Play. And by blind Let's Play, I mean really blind. Other than, like, the cover of the game, I don't actually really know anything about the game. I don't even know what genre it is. I am going as so blind into it. It's insane. The one thing it is, though, is that it is on a system I've never recorded on, so it might be a bit of bit of getting used to recording it. But that's it. I enjoyed the hell out of Splatoon, and I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. See you guys then. Hope you have a good day.